Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. In one of my previous episodes I've discussed how to boot alternative operating systems on Mac. To achieve this goal I've used the refined bootloader. So this is the bootloader that you actually install on your hardware, on your hard drive and then you use it to boot alternative operating systems such as Linux, Windows or any, any operating system that you want. But not everyone wants to install something on their Mac. From what I've seen the many people are very conservative of what they install on their Mac because they want to like have Mac, Mac OS and that's it like nothing else installed. So in this case we can use alternative bootloaders for example such as Clover. So Clover EFI bootloader is basically a bootloader that you can grab using this ISO image. From this URL I'm gonna provide it down in the description below so you can download it. Once you have this image the ISO image you can either use uh, use it to burn it on a CD drive if you have a CD drive on your Mac or if you have external CD drive on Mac or you can just flash it your on your flash drive like whatever you want so basically this is just you flash this one and then you boot from here and then you boot using the CD image or a flash drive so let's actually see how it works all right so I have my CD disk right here with the clover bootloader installed right here uh, it's an ISO image very small one actually like 10 megabytes or something and I have my external DVD drive right here and I'm gonna boot from it so let's go ahead and plug it right here all right, so we're gonna start the Mac and press the option key. So option key is to be able to select which disk we want to boot from. And it should show this Clover bootloader right from there. I actually need to enter my password because this, this is the password protected system I have here. All right, and I have my disk as if A5 boot here. So I'm gonna press this one. This is the Clover bootloader it should be. So let's see. All right, and now we have the option to select any partition that we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my Linux installation right here. So I'm gonna plug my Linux, Linux drive and see if it detects it. All right, so there should be a button to refresh it. Yeah, all right, so it refreshed it and I'm gonna select boot Ubuntu EFI boot menu from EFI. So I'm gonna press this one. All right, so it starts Linux. It starts to load Linux. I have Kubuntu installed right here. So it's a very simple procedure to actually be able to boot alternative operating systems on Mac. You don't need to install anything specifically if you want just to boot and like once or like maybe a couple of times. If you want to be able to boot it like multiple times, like select dual boot menu and uh, boot Mac OS or Linux or Windows, then it makes sense to install or refine but other than that you might just use this CD drive to be able to load anything you want all right so kubuntu load it right here and thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you like this video and there will be more videos about the tech tutorials and basically stuff like that